Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Wednesday, December 9th, National Pastry Day. I'm Anna Leah. And I'm Jason. Reporting from home, this is your World News Wednesday. Yesterday in the UK, a 90-year-old woman named Margaret Keenan became the first person in the world to receive a COVID-19 vaccine. The vaccination process apparently starts by giving each recipient two doses three weeks apart, and it is said the government has already ordered 40 million doses of the vaccine so far, enough to vaccinate 2 million people and a third of the UK population. Christmas star is coming this December for the first time in 800 years. During this year's winter solstice, if you look up in the sky, you will see that Jupiter and Saturn appear closer to each other than they have in eight centuries. The closeness of the two planets will create a shining point of light that will only be visible from Earth. Missing boater rescued 86 miles from shore, clinging to capsized boat. A 62-year-old Florida resident, Stuart B., went missing from Port Canaveral Marina in Florida last Friday and became the focus of an intensive ocean search and rescue mission. He had been experiencing some engine trouble early in the trip and didn't think to radio it in as he thought he could fix it himself. He was pushed from his boat by a gush of water flooding the cabin that pushed him up towards the boat and out through the front hatch as the stern sank. He was able to catch the attention of a cargo fighter by using his shirt as a flag and was safely brought aboard the ship. Mom pays for multiple strangers' groceries on a whim. Brandy Bisson spent $600 paying for eight people who she didn't know's groceries after a generous community turn up out that included gifts and a drive-by parade for her son's seventh birthday. She claimed that her reasoning for wanting to do it was simply to make people smile. This holiday season, the SGA senior class officers are assisting the Army of Angels to help children in need that attend our local Winter Park School. If you would like to fill out a stocking for one of these children, stop by 360 or 382 to pick up a stocking. Please return the filled stocking to room 360 by December 14th. All items should be an unwrapped. Stocking ideas include markers, books, playing cards, dolls, action figures, toiletries, socks, hair ties, candy, stuffed animals, nail polish, stickers. Have fun! Attention all new and current NHS members. Our December meeting will be held at 7 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. and you can find the link to the virtual teams meeting in the NHS Canvas page. Auditions for Winter Park High School's Winter Musical, Tuck Everlasting, are here. Auditions and callbacks will be completely virtual, but the show and rehearsals will be live and face-to-face. -face. Auditions will be open from December 7th to December 11th, and the deadline to submit an audition video will be Friday, December 11th at 3 p.m. This is an after-school activity, and there will be a fee to participate in the production. Audition requirements are a short 30 second to 1 minute video of you performing a musical theater song and it cannot be a cappella. For more information about rehearsal performances, sign ups, and submissions, please use the Google form linked below. The Celebrate Club will be meeting virtually once a month starting today at 2 p.m. on Microsoft Teams. Each month, members will meet to do fun activities like scavenger hunts, trivia, coloring, puzzles, pictionary, dancing, meditation, building models, and more. Join the Remind at SELWPHS and watch for the link to join the Microsoft Teams. Direct any questions to Mrs. Cohen at lynn.cohen at OCPS.net. What's up, Wildcats? We're SGA and we're here to tell you that we might be having a homecoming this year. Yay! And our theme is... Party in the USA! <laughs> Spirit Week and Homecoming Court are definitely happening. So today through Friday, make sure you nominate your top boy and girl of your grade during your English class. However, parade and dance are tentative, so make sure to follow Wildcat Network and your class Instagrams for more updates. The Asian Student Association is meeting tomorrow at two p after school. 
Join their mind at WPASA21 for the meeting link. That's all the news we have for you today, Wildcats. Have a wonderful Wednesday.